Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 19th August. Over the weekend, windfall tax was reduced. As a result, the oil companies were doing well today. Hindalco continues to go up another 4%. The cost reduction in their results really is something that markets like. Crude oil cut is good for paint companies. Till about 60%, the market was green. But besides m M&M, nothing was majorly down. Two of the four major sectors were up, oil and gas software. But banking and auto were on the other extreme. They were down. Overall, traders will take this pattern. Because of the windfall tax reduction, most of the oil companies were doing well. MRPL exports a lot, so that was up most. In fact, this was up around 5%. Then it fell towards the later part of the day. Look at the distance to 52-week high. This stock has suffered a lot because of windfall tax. But one and a half month of this quarter is already gone. So most of the gains because of the windfall tax reduction will be there in the next quarter. Hope the tax does not increase by then. IOC is still away from 52 week high, but PPCL, Oil India, HPCL, all of them are pretty close now. Auto today was not doing well at all. The top four companies were down. Mahindra and Mahindra, despite the launch of Thar's new edition, that too reasonably priced with fantastic features, that was down a lot. Auto sector sniffs recession the quickest. Nifty and Bank Nifty were a bit choppy, but hugely range bound. In fact, most of the stocks also were hugely range bound. See the range 24, 525, 24, 625. This also is because of the high opening. Otherwise, hardly any range. 50 point. Similarly, Bank Nifty also towards the later point of the day, there was hardly a 100 point range on Bank Nifty. Now, volatility is not vanishing. Volatility is still there. Just that stocks are going up and down in synchronization. And I'll show it to you in the graphs. Today, greed actually reduced a bit. 51%. This could be because of PCR ratios becoming a little fearsome. Nifty up a little. Bank Nifty down. Nifty IT up 1% yet again. FII is sold today. DIA is bought today. But this difference is increasing. There is a net supply sold by FIIs which is being absorbed by retail. Nifty Energy 1.3% up. Next 50 0.6% up. Defense corrected. It opened on a high as usual and then fell down severely. IT continues to rock third continuous day for TCS being up. That too with good percentage gains. Infosys also was up. The big cuts were in Bharti Airtel, ICICI Bank. In fact, HDFC Bank also was down a lot. It recovered towards the end. Gold, very marginal dip. Silver was up a lot. ADR is looking good. Bitcoin up a bit, but it is hugely range bound around 58,000, 59,000. Bitcoin really needs to break 60,000 and then march towards 70,000. Brent slightly up at the time of shooting this video. Friday, Nasdaq actually did not go anywhere. Now, Indescent got RBI not for undertaking mutual fund business as a new subsidiary. Right now, they are doing it as a part of the bank. This makes sense only if they are planning to get some outside investment and raise some serious cash or maybe eventually hive off the business majority stake maybe also note that indecent for seven straight years now has not given investors any return this is a gain i was talking about for hdfc bank icici did not go up at this rate rate this time most of the consumption stocks actually fell severely infosys these days usually trends up and then remains stable reliance peaks typically around 11 o'clock and then it's a bit choppy these days PCS also is going up continuously. So VIX was also choppy in the beginning part of the day, but then it fell. So why is VIX under control? Because when HDFC bank goes up, the consumption stocks go down. When Infosys and TCS are up, ATL is down, ICICI is down. So approximately 50% stocks go up, 50% go down. If one big stock changes direction, one big stock goes the other direction or two small stocks go the other direction. Overall Nifty does not move much. Indescent went down continuously today. SBI peaked around 10 o'clock, then went down. ICICI continues down. Axis Bank opened at the highest point of the day and literally closed at the lowest point of the day. But these were not big ranges. Look at HDFC 1624 here, 1634 here. 10 points for HDFC, 20 points for ICICI, 12 points for SBI, hardly 2 points for PNB. Most of the defense stocks peaked between 9.30 and 10 as usual. And then came down. Musgaon Dock was down most today. That hit a lower circuit of 5%. Solar industry opened at the highest point of the day, closed at the lowest point. Nearly same with GRSE, data patterns also. Only BEL was up very little, half percent. BDL up 1%. But look at BDL, it gave up most of the gains from the beginning part of the day. 
same with BEL. But again, if you see here, four point range. This is one crazy day in terms of trading ranges. Metal Hindustan Zinc continues to crack. It was down another 5% today. Most of the st stocks actually did pretty well. See some of the stocks that went up in the later part of the day. NMDC, Hindalco was continuously up. Vedanta was continuously up. The only stock sell king is the one with a very low offer for sale price. Now we are nearly there in terms of OFS price. The volumes of metals were good. Hindustan Zinc is now back to number two. Railway stocks were a little better. RFC 0.8% up. RVNL 0.5% up, IRCTC 1.5% up, IT sector continues to have a good time, Zometo has been correcting softly, down 1% more today, since Zometo has a distant cousin called InfoEdge that also went down a bit. Now TCS is hitting a 52 week or all time high nearly every day these days. Power pack was really green today including Adani green, Adani power was down a bit. Adani energy up also, overall the Adani pack was doing well, NTPC power grid both up, the volumes were low for these two, but the Adani pack had good volumes, Adani have apparently come up with a war chest of money, this is kind of to chase away Hindenburg blues in some ways, Reliance had phenomenal volumes today, while the percentage change was not very high, 150%, MRPL had fantastic volumes, I think Believe MRPL will continue to go for next few days unless the crude prices suddenly shoot up beyond $80. The consumption pack corrected towards the end, otherwise, it was doing okay. Godfrey Phillips was up 15.5%. It is hard to grow in this industry with three key players ITC, VST Industries, and Godfrey Phillips. They have taken a bit of market share from VST Industries. Most of these stocks were actually doing pretty well till 3 o'clock. Friday was a blockbuster day, 34 sectors were up. Today, 22 sectors were up only. Today, Varun Beverage is picked up after a long time, 6% up. Seems like the short sellers are out now. And if that's the case, especially because volumes were greater than 150%, the stock should steadily move up in slow percentages, 2-3% kinds for next few days. Especially if the volumes remain high, which shows some interest. Low crude is good for Asian paints as well as Pedilite. Asian paints has been inching up. It is nearly at the middle. Now, 11% away from the 52-week high. Coal India up, LNT was down 0.4% but all other stocks were up, RVNL half percent, IRB 3%. IRB is a stock that should be watched because a lot of highways, roads have been washed away. IRB should get good contracts this year because a lot of rebuilding has to be done in addition to net new infrastructure. Trent has no reason to see the PE ratio up 3% again. Home building continues to sulk. Insurance LIC was up, but rest everyone was down. Big gains in investment banking except HDFC asset management. Look at Nippon Life, 4.1% up. This stock as well as HDFC are nearly at 52 week highs. So is CDSL, Nuvama, Aditya Birla. Both Siemens and ABB down 1%. The sector was down 0.3%. That's heavy machinery. Inox Wind Energy is on fire 4.4% up today also. It is at a 52 week high. Suzlon fell for two sessions last week. That is why it is 5% away. Kalyan Jewelers down 4%. Big correction profit booking perhaps. Titan was however up half percent. Minor gains in transport infra. Nifty 50, 20 stocks down, 30 up. Best contribution came from TCS, Reliance, ONGC, Coal India, Tata Steel, Hindalco. What was down? MM, Bharti, ICICI, Axis Bank, Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto, Nestle. Next 50, 20 stocks down, 30 up. Varun Beverages was the best performer, followed by Adani Greens, Vedanta, Shriram Finance, Trent. What was down? PI Industries, Chola Mandalam, Siemens, ABB, DLF, ICIC Lombard. Indigo. PSU banks were up because there was a meeting with the finance ministry. The only message they got was work harder, get some money from the customers. I didn't catch anything beyond that. So this pack may fall a lot tomorrow because government is apparently not in a mood to support the PSU banks. I did a bit of buying today. Hindustan Zinc, small quantity for trading. I expect Hindustan Zinc to fall a little maybe more, 10-15 bucks. In that case, I'll average low a bit. But I'm just trying to make 5-10% gain here, not much. Cochin Shipyard, I bought at the lower point of the day towards the end. And I'll set up a BTST order slightly later in the day for tomorrow morning. Just try to make 50 bucks in the stock. I diversified a bit, bought a little more of silver. Didn't sell anything. So only investment day. I mentioned about the tire industry last week. So I wanted to share a quick update on how commodity prices impact shares like say to the tires 
सो दीज आर द लास्ट वन इयर प्राइसिस ऑफ रबर इन द इंटरनेशनल मार्केट इंडिया प्रोड्यूस अ बिट ऑफ रबर बट इंडिया इम्पोर्ट सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ रबर ऑल्सो सो डोमेस्टिक प्राइसिस सम हाउ आर इम्पैक्टेड बाय द इंटरनेशनल प्राइसिस आई पुट टू रबर स्टॉक्स हेयर एम आर एफ विच इज द लार्जेस्ट स्टॉक प्राइस वाइज कंपनी नॉट द लार्जेस्ट टायर कंपनी and balkrishna industries which is a replacement tire industry when the commercial vehicles need a new tire this is the peak of rubber prices this was approximately a bottom maybe this so this was a range so here mrf's prices were stagnating now what happens is when the prices cool down the indian tire manufacturers will get cheap rubber from outside that is why here the prices of mrf went up the margins improve at this juncture the rubber prices are going up so stock prices are going down because at this point the extra cost cannot be passed to the customer there is already an oversupply and excess vehicles are manufactured by most of the large auto companies so this extra cost will have to be absorbed to a large extent by the tire companies also inventories may pile up at higher prices that is why i sold mrf last week i am still holding to balkrishna industries though it has fallen a bit but right now i am holding on because i still want to test my theory that replacement tire industry will survive because 90 95% kind of sales in the tire industry are replacement tires only now all of that does not go to balkrishna only trucks buses tractors all of them replacement might go for balkrishna the market cap is 54000 crores for balkrishna industries now these trends might differ a bit for example here rubber was going up and mrf share price also went up the reason is huge demand somewhere around march april auto stocks were on fire there was huge selling going on huge demand and most auto companies made all time highs maruti gave fantastic results so at that point the pricing power is there with the auto companies as well as the tire companies but when demand dips you have to absorb the cost that is why i prefer not to buy auto stocks directly ever observe these trends for some time before you make any decision to buy or sell right now for example china's demand is pretty low so while indonesian rubber is costly china which is one of the bigger producers that is dumping rubber perhaps in some markets otherwise this price would have gone up lot more so if chinese market picks up then rubber prices will definitely go up now for mrf to make money in that market there has to be demand so the rubber price increase can be passed on to the customer hope this information was useful thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow